What's up guys? Welcome to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are back with more yet another fantasy title. That's right. In the last episode we were going getting distracted with side quests, did a redheaded convention that turned out there were no miracles, and now we're going to go maybe fight a dragon? I don't know, but we're going to we're going to walk in and see. So uh in the last episode, oh shit. We were getting everything we needed and now this giant drag Who's disturbing my rest? What have we got here? Some kind of treat? I like treats. Mm-hmm. A fresh lamb, straight from the pasture, for the wisest of dragons. I like them so much. Come here, lambkin. All right, yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. And he got, he ate him, and now he's poisoned and dead? Maybe? Right? Ah, oh, it burned. It stinks. It's poison. You will pay for this. Uh, no, I won't. This is the moment where you die. Look at his face. He doesn't know, right? While I'm wearing my magical bracelets, no weapon or magic can hurt me. And these bracelets can't be destroyed. There used to be one weapon which could smash them. But it's been lost, stuck in a troll's butt, right? How did you die? Okay, so we just got to make it over to his hands, right? Okay, yeah, hell yeah. Okay, yeah, punch me again. Fuck. Punch me again, bitch. Okay, hell yeah. We need one more good on that. Maybe two. Hell yeah, we got that. Now we gotta punch this hand, baby. Okay, we killed that guy. Let's get him out of here. Ow, what the fuck? No! Come on, damn it! Come on. Come on! There we go, yeah, use that- use- they didn't expect me to use that shield, did you, bitch? He got me good that time, not gonna lie. Oh no, I died! No! I just used my fire spell! Okay, well, reload checkpoint. This is gonna start all over with this dragon fight, isn't it? Yep, shit, okay. Well, he ate the thing, and now he's gonna do his whole speech. Don't do your whole speech, thank you. Oh, God. Who's disturbing my rest? What have you got? A fresh lamb, I liked him so much, come here. <laughs> he's lamb, and he's like, oh, it's poison, I'm gonna fuck you up. You hit my bracelet. Right, let's go. Troll's butt die. Yep, troll's butt die. That's my name, don't wear it out. There we go, yeah. Let's not make him move his arm far. Come on, come on. Ow. Almost had it, almost had it. Let's go. One more. Come on, punch me. Damn it. Okay, there we go. We're getting it. We're getting it little by little. Hell yeah, we got that one. Now we just gotta get the other one. We gotta get the other one now, and just fine, which is fine. Damn it! Alright, not bad, not bad. We froze these guys, got some health. Ow, fuck, he hits hard though, man. Oh yeah, I can't use that, I gotta... Uh, for, I was about to say I'll just hit him with a fireball, but I gotta use my sword to hit him. Damn. There we go, we got that one now. I don't have any more shields, so I'm just gonna have to finagle this last one like a, like a man. There we go, we got that. Now he's just got a bracelet on. Come on, come on, you big asshole. Wait, what? What is that? Oh, was that a crown? You thought it would be a piece of cake to kill a dragon, yes? Well, it's not. Uh, I never thought it would be a piece of cake. Actually, I was surprised how easy it was to- You insolent little- Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I'm, I'm here to kill you, that's all. <laughs> I'm not here to offend the dragon. I don't want to be rude. I just want to fucking kill him.
Oh shit, I'm about to die. I didn't realize I was about to die. I don't want to die. All right, yeah, now, we, now we're healed up. Now you're really in trouble, you big piece of shit. <laughs> Just talking all kinds of shit to him. Okay, okay, we're just dodging, we're moving and dodging, and we're shooting him, and we're shooting. Okay, and we're moving, and we're dodging, and we're, oh shit. We got some big dudes in here with us. We got some big guys in here with us. Okay, don't mind me, big guys. Big fucking guys need to dies. That's what I always say. Okay, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Dodge, 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 dodge. Hit him, dodge. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, dodge. Dodge, dodge, flip to the frozen thing. All right, watch out for everybody. Hit him again with the frozen thing. Booyah! Kill them all. Now dodge. And hit him, hit him. Boom! Look at that, baby. Hell yeah! Did we do it? Did we take him down? Uh-oh. You beat me, human. You didn't seem like the one who could do that. And now, the really funny thing is, I'm not your real enemy. You're just being used by someone else. If only you knew who told me to eat the king. Well, who? Oh, you'll learn that soon. Now let a dying dragon laugh for the last time. Ha 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 Okay. Uh, do I get the crown now? Can I wear the crown? Can I put the crown? He's dead. Time to get the crown. Alright, got it. Cool. Killed the dragon, got the crown, but he's not the... Okay, so who's the real enemy then? The tree? The crown of kings is back in the capital. The day of return is close. Listen up, everybody. The dragon said somebody ordered him to eat the king. There's a conspiracy at work here. Wait, this could mean that the ultimate ancient evil... I felt it too. The advent of darkness. The evil that once cut the holy tree I grew from. The evil which was banished ages ago. Now it is slowly returning to our world. Only a true king can stop it. We must hurry. Though his majesty left no legitimate heirs, he did, well, uh, oh dear, is it that difficult? He slept around when he had nothing better to do, which means most of the time. The children are illegitimate, but the royal blood runs in them. There are three of them, a dwarven girl, two boys, and an orc and a halfling. Wait, a dwarven girl and two boys and an orc and a halfling. One of them could take the noble burden of the crown and restore the kingdom. So there's, wait, one, two, three, four, five, it's not three. Right, you will start with the land of the dwarves. When the king died, they closed their lands, also blocking access to the lands of the halflings and orcs. After you've found the dwarven princess, you can proceed to the two other heirs. Fortunately, I know a sec the secret password to the stone gates of the dwarven mines. All you have to do is say, friend in elvish. Melon. Melon. And close enough. Go and good luck. Clear your father's name. Will you leave his father alone? I know he never liked you, but he's dead now. You're safe, idiot. Go forth, Chosen One, and pay no heed to my steward's words. Hopefully you'll save us. All right, shit. Well, it turns out this killing the dragon wasn't all she wrote. We're going to have to figure out other things here. So, uh, oh, shit. Don't use your one of your two ice powers. Let's put on a spell that we don't have any of. That way we can't waste it. <laughs> or actually send a fireball towards someone. Oh, uh, where's my sword at? Is that not oh, there we go. Yeah. Let's get that, get that Chosen One sword out. Where's it at? There it is. There's that Chosen One sword. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's just head right there. I don't want to do any more quests right now. I want to just get the fuck out of here. Uh, where's... Okay, there's a spell guy up here to the right, and then we can go all the way to the quest. Maybe he'll have some horse stuff for me. Oh, I can summon my noble steed again. All right, we're going to run over to him. Run over to him. I'd love to take this officer's... Can I just throw them off? Yeah, cool. We'll do that. 
It's not like he's gonna be able to fucking chase me now. <laughs> All right, let's go. Where are you selling potions at? Up here? Cool. Potion sales, man. Where are you at? You're down? Okay. How far down? No, there's no way you're that far down. No. He's on the other side of the wall. Damn it. Okay. You gotta go into the thing. There you are. Do you have any horse? Not that I need another horse right now, but I have a wolf. Yeah, summon steed. There you go. Magic shield is good. Payout's fun. Lower the guard pursuit level by one. Yeah, we'll grab a couple of those. And force blast. Sure. Force blast isn't great, but we'll take some. Okay, now we just need to go to that fucking thing. So we need to just go right down a little bit and then head out and over and down. Right down a little bit, head out, over, down. Everybody got that? Check it out. Right. Down a little bit. Excuse me. Excuse me. Then right. Over. And down. And over and down is going to be done kind of an angle. Oh, shit. Everybody get out of my way. All right, sure, yeah. We'll hide our giant wolf and make it seem like it's something else. I don't really think that works with giant wolves, but hey. Who am I to judge? Let's go say melon to this stone gate and see if we can get ourselves into the dwarven lands. All right. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, we better go to a new area where, yeah. Okay, oh, nice. So that, yeah, that's that whole area that I haven't been able to get to. That's a very phallic thing in the bottom right now that I look at that. Look at that bottom right cave system there. You see, it's not in the bottom right, it's the bottom right island, but it's at the top of it. That's, that's fairly phallic. All right, let's go. <clears throat> get through here. Uh, melon. Melons, that's the name of this mission. Let's go. Uh, wow, this gate is so enormous. The largest I've ever seen. Hold on, there's an inscription. Say friend to enter. It must be some sort of code. You have to say friend. They probably thought this was quite clever. Grindolf mentioned how to say it in Elvish. What was it? Melon! I'm sorry, sir, but I can't help you. We have sold out. No melons left. No, I don't want melons. I pride myself on being an excellent planter, yet my melons are stolen from the field before they can even mature. These are challenging times. I'm not here for your melons. I, I need to get through that gate. And I need to make a living. I almost sound like the wizard for a second. If you help me, I'll help you. The gate is currently closed by the Dwarven Council's order. However, if you help me guard Melonfield tonight, I'll find a way to let you through. All right, go to the Melonfield. What did he just give me? Something that I already had, whatever it was. All right, hop on my... So now we got to go to the Melonfield. And help this melon. Go to the melon field, okay? Turns out this mission turned out to be a lot more than I thought it would be. Am I supposed to say Mayon or something? Like, you know, some French El Mayon. Let's gather some fruity goodness, fella. Hold on, who's that? No fruit for you tonight. Job's done. Time to rest. Knocked out all those fuckers, and now I just get to- Oh, uh, all the melons gone. Oh no, where have the melons gone? Those thieves I fought must have had buddies. Go back to the vegetable sailor, yeah. Oops, my bad, dude. Sorry. All your melons are gone. I don't know what happened. I fought them off real good, and then I took a nap, and then your melons were gone. I dealt with the thieves, but the melons are gone. This was the last melon field in the entire kingdom. The whole species is extinct, and I'm ruined. Regarding opening the gate, we had an agreement. No melons, no entry. But maybe there's still hope. I noticed that our top inventor, Dr. Emmett Gray, is conducting experiments in the field over there. We need to ask for his help quickly. Without it, we'll be in trouble. Fucking son of a bitch. Go to Dr. Emmett Gray and talk to him about some fucking melons. Dr. Gray, I just want to get through the damn dwarven gate. This guy makes me come talk to you about melons. Hello? You making melons? Note to self, frog's eye might be useful sometimes, but mixing it with unicorn blood is ineffective. And the smell! 
Uh, Doc, I need your help. It's about the melons. Melons, huh? Melons won't solve this. The flux capacitor requires... Uh, the kingdom's last melons were destroyed last night. Last night, you say? You're in luck. Yes, yes, I'm working on portal for time traveling. I need an idiot. I mean, a daredevil to test it. Uh, seems I have no other option, as long as it takes me back to last night. Here, wear this special helmet. It'll protect you during your time travel, preventing complete insanity. Put it on and step inside. Note to self, I wonder if she's thinking about me as much as I'm thinking about her. Mustn't get distracted. Hurry to the portal. Okay, let's take the time travel. Hopefully my wolf's still here. Are you ready? Uh, always. Let's do this. Alright, got my cool time travel hat on to keep me from going completely insane. Now we just gotta go back in time. Don't worry about it. A little bit of time travel for some melons. It's your classic situation, guys. Time traveling for melons. Oh, wow. Okay, it looks like it actually might have worked. Wow, my wolf's still here. Weird. Maybe my wolf was here all night. Go to the melon field, okay? Am I going to see myself? That'd be fun. I, there's no way they're not putting myself in there. <clears throat> Definitely going to see me fight these guys, right? Come on. Oh, wake up yourself. Nice, yeah. Wake up! The thugs you just fought have reinforcements on the way. Who are you? Why do you look like me? It's hard to explain. I'll tell you later. But first, let's deal with him. Again. Can I kill myself? That'd be fun. That sounded weird, but... <laughs> Can I kill myself? That'd be fun. Okay, now listen. Oh shit, what the fuck? I- oh shit! You died. Strange, that last melon thief seemed odd. Should be all of them. <laughs> Time to head back. Well, shit, okay, that works, I guess. I wonder what happened if I would've killed me just then. Killed that last melon thief though, nice. <laughs> The melons are safe. You can gather them now. Great, so the doctor helped? What doctor? Uh, never mind. What matters is the melons are safe. Wait, how do you know about the doctor? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Nabby Stonecleaver, a fruit merchant and natural leader, mayor of the delightful town beyond this gate. Oh, wow, okay. As agreed, you helped me, and now I'll help you. Mayong! What? It's the double L. Some folks just never catch on. If you're looking to earn some cash, visit the town hall. I have a job for you. Okay, cool. Well, now we know that we have job opportunities with the mayor, who is also a vegetable salesman. And is outside of the temporal paradox of time. So that's good. Temporal paradox of time? I don't know what temporal time is. kind of a double, but who, who cares? Anyway, let's go into the dwarf city, baby. Dwarf town! Oh, cool. Salesman. Don't mind if I do. What do you got? You got anything good? Force Blast Angle. Ooh, Minor Heal. Definitely need that. Summon Steed. Grab some of those while I'm here. Payout. Sure. Lowers the Guard Pursuit. Yeah. Let's do Magic Shield. That's a fun one. Anger of the Rocks. Yeah. I don't need Force Blast. Alright. Look at us. Go. Let's go up here. Check out this city. Ooh. Very cool. Whoa. Those go way down. That's fucking cool. Dwarven City is badass looking, guys. Shit. Oh no, don't. Damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. How do I back this thing up? There we go. Alright, do I just go to the. Okay. So this is the big old city gates here. Let's see what we got here. Let's start this. What, what do we got? Through the maze, alright. Through the maze indeed. Through the looking maze. Through the maze of glass. We have a political pro- Oh, went straight into the wizard. <clears throat> we have a political problem. Not many people know that our late king had a certain weaknesses. Yes, the king had a daughter. I, I know, she's here. I'm looking for her. Oh, fabulous. Some say it's time to leave the kingdom and keep the mines to ourselves. They're afraid the steward could enter the city and take her. So they locked her up and closed the main gates. It's bad for business. And the steward is getting angry. Perhaps if someone from the outside could get her out of Stone Maze? And make her disappear? We're a peaceful people, you know. We, we don't like trouble. 
I'll get her out all right. You won't see her again. And this stone maze is uh, a prison, a labyrinth. You can't get in there without special spell that allows you to see hidden passages and get through them. As I'm the mayor, I have a copy of the scroll. One condition. You have to get in and out undetected. If they find out she escaped, you're as good as dead. They have a giant armored... Never mind. And even worse, I could still I could still get in trouble as well. You get reimbursement, expatriation allowance, and a decent per diem. A deal. Never thought I'd get to work in the public sector. Let's grab that. What is this? What spell is this that he gave me? Anger of the Rocks, Minor Hill, Fireball, Payout, Herald Spark. It's not anything that I can just use offhand. So uh, let's go ahead and head on in here and see what there is to see. Wait, is it not here? Where is it? Oh, it's up. Okay. I thought it was in inside. Those are just your chambers, huh? Well, let's go sec check. Let's go sec out this stone maze, I guess. That's how I'm going to talk. So we just got to go. Oh, I could have went out back there. All right. Well, yeah, let's go out this way. Oh, shit. Shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fuck. I really didn't mean to. If that makes any difference. Really, really didn't mean to. Stone maze is a prison. With all the guards on my tail? No way. All right, well, I'm gonna lose the guards and I guess get into this fucking jail. Uh, let's lose the guards and break into prison. That sounds like a smart idea in the next episode, guys. So, uh, all right, now the spell. The mayor told me I'll be able to recognize false walls. Let's see how it works, shall we? Oh, that vision spell again. Let's find that false wall. All right, well, we found our in. Let's see if we can do this undetected in the next episode, guys. If you did like this one, be sure to like, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And of course, I want to thank all of my members. Right now, I've got two members. That's right. Rainbow Chicken Live has joined Spinning to Win in the members circle. So if you guys want to join the Cool Kids Club and get access to the private Discord, custom emojis, and a shout out at the end of every video, be sure to click the members tab and join. I sure do appreciate all the support I've been getting. Thank you so much again, Spinning to Win and Rainbow Chicken Live for both being members. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.